Christy Adams Abel, the founder of Carolina Breast Friends, was one of the most charismatic and genuine people that I have ever met. And she extended that kind of attitude and generous giving of her personality to every survivor that she met in the process of founding Carolina Breast Friends. When you're first diagnosed with breast cancer and you get these doctors, you get the oncologists, the surgeons, and uh, maybe a radiologist, all these people focused on the medical aspects, but your spirit takes a hit. Mm -hmm. And the Pink House was amazing in finding the kind of help that you need to support all the things you're going through. It was, it was exactly what I needed and it, it got me through it. One thing I've noticed is I've watched the programs evolve at the Pink House. I've been going for just around six years and it started out as more of a social thing, a place to go and just fellowship with women that were going through the same struggle. And I've watched the programs grow over the years to really meet the women where they are, making sure that they have the educational needs that they have, available to them, they have the resources that they need, and that they're able to make the next step in their journey. One of the main reasons I got into this whole thing was to let people know that men can get breast cancer mm -hmm. because um, having been diagnosed, I can't tell you how many people don't realize that men can get breast cancer. The Pink House means everything to me. Um, the Pink House took care of me through two diagnoses as a breast cancer survivor. It saved my life. I just adore the Pink House. I've learned a lot from it. I've learned that I wasn't in this journey alone. Support is the foundational cornerstone for Carolina Breast Friends. Christy believed that support was the positivity that breast cancer survivors needed, both men and women, and we've continued that today. We have a number of different programs and all of them evolve around support. All of these interactions allow and encourage the support that survivors are looking for. So we'll continue that as a foundational part of Carolina Breast Friends as we move into the future. As we grow, we can tell you now we have seen since 2003, more than 3,000 new survivors come through the Pink House. And our numbers continue to increase every year. So until there's a cure, there's care. <laughs>